Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Gemini, let's see how you feel about a person that you're coming to the reading for. How does Gemini feel about a person that they're coming to the reading for? All right, so you feel like the tower could be dealing with the Scorpio. So you feel like you've been here, been there, done this with this person, had the same argument about the same damn thing. Ugh, it's just too much. Um, maybe you feel like this time after, you know, everything falls apart, maybe we can clean it up. We can do it right. Or someone or somebody else feels this way. But this is how you feel about this person. All right, so let's see. How else does Gemini feel about this person? The King of Swords definitely could be dealing with the Scorpio. You feel like... Um, they have some very cutting words. They're meticulous. Um, they're strategic. There's, they always have some strategy. You can't figure them out. They want to be a bachelor, but then they want to be in a relationship. Um, five of swords. You just feel like, yeah, it's self-interest with this person and it's games, it's lies, it's manipulation. You feel like uh, you can't trust what they say here. Let's see. How does this person feel about Gemini? So how does this particular person feel about you, Gemini? So they feel like you're the emperor, okay? So there's no budging with you. You're setting your ways. You could be older or more accomplished. Nine of ones, they feel like you um, you give up or you're giving up. Um, they also feel like you're uh, non-committal. You do what you want. Um, with the nine of ones, they feel like you're looking back at the relationship and you're wondering if you should work on it. Um, you could even be looking back at a past person or you have somebody on the sidelines. This is how they feel about you. You could be dealing with somebody who's married. Let's see. How does this person feel about Gemini? Uh, five of Cups. So they feel like, um, I guess Scorpio coming up heavy here. Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. All right. So something about maybe diving into the deep Pluto, um, you know, a shakeup, uh, you know, um, deep emotions, deep feelings, uh, maybe even lessons here, um, with the five of cups. So they feel like they miss you. They want to have something with you. They don't know how to make this right. They don't know how to make it better. They regret not saying things to you. They regret not showing their actions. I mean, expressing their emotions or maybe via their actions, they just didn't do the right thing. So there's a lot of regret, remorse, and resentment here. Um, it's just a tough time. What is the energy between the two? of you the nine of pentacles both y'all act single you do your own thing there's really no commitment here even if you've made a commitment to one another there is no commitment you both are acting in the energy of self-interest whatever it is you want um you're going to go after it and whatever it is they want they're going after it let's see what is the advice for a uh, gemini here what's the advice what's the advice for gemini what's the advice advice for Gemini uh the knight of swords so you need to confront this uh head on you need to uh, speak your peace if you want this person back you need to say something you need to go after them um you need to be smart be smart about this and choose your words wisely um you need to have some focus here the knight of swords here also um, you need to do something swiftly what is the advice okay page of swords so i don't know you might need to sharpen your words with this person i don't know if this person talks to you crazy or you talk to them crazy to two of wands i mean two of swords with the moon card it's some things you just don't know and maybe you're just not asking the right questions the cards are asking you to sharpen your words go to them and you're going to have to be direct in your questioning in your line of questioning so you can get truth clarity about what's going on because this person is keeping you in illusion in fog they keep you thinking that something is when it is not that they're going to do when they will not do so you're going to have to ask a specific question here um yeah that's what i have all right, so let's see where, uh, what is the astrological effect here for you, Gemini? What's the astrological effect? Oh, it's hanging these cards. Flying out today. Sagittarius came out in the upright for you, Gemini, the Voyager. So you could be dealing with a Sag. Um, if you are not dealing with a Sagittarius, that's okay. So it's about um, maybe seeing the big picture here. Lucky, 
self-righteous or somebody is self-righteous this is a risk you know being with this person or doing this thing here that you're doing um let's see what else are the astrological virgo could be dealing with a virgo the alchemist this is somebody who's kind of witchy by nature um kind of uh you know a nurturer gross methodical um a perfectionist this is somebody here who could be sneaky keeping you in the dark um, who could be keeping you away um keeping you out of their heart space um they're keeping you in a place where they want you the seventh house relating how do you relate in relationships um partners compassion uh again relatability uh, interpersonal connection how do you talk how do you relate how do you convey your emotions or your actions what do you do so it's something about that you need to kind of focus in on that too um let's see what is going on for you for career and finance gemini career and finance for gemini career and finance for gemini three of swords so it could be some heartbreaking news or maybe something that is um I keep it breathtaking, okay? Um, or it's something that is kind of like bittersweet here. Maybe you have to decide. Um, something has been alienated or isolated. Um, Knight of Wands, it's like you're taking some other action. You're going in a different direction. Maybe this is what is breathtaking to other people. The Eight of Pentacles, you're learning something or you're finishing up learning. Page of Wands, you're going to be able to do your work however you want to do it. The Star card at the bottom of the deck. It looks like some hopes, some wishes, some dreams are being fulfilled, will be fulfilled around you. Um, maybe on a platform, especially if you have a platform, if it's social media or something like that, you're getting a lot of likes, a lot of followers, a lot of subscribers. People look up to whatever it is you're putting out there. There's some healing being done in your career and your finance, maybe with you firstly, and then it's going to trickle into career and finance. There could be news of um, maybe um, a deal, promotion, a uh, large sum of money coming to you. It just seems as if you get to live life on your terms, do what you love to do, how you want to do it. Maybe because you put in the work with the eight of pentacles here. This could even be the beginning of a new business and it's just been work, work, work. As you've been overworked, a workaholic, but you want to get it to a place of self-sustaining energy. All right. So let's see what the future energy holds for Gemini in terms of love. What's the future energy for Gemini for love here? Courtship. So a relationship here. Somebody trying to date you seriously or you're already in that. You're trying to get it to turn to something else. What is uh, the future love energy for thief yeah it's like somebody's lying not being direct and the cards were asking you to go to someone and ask direct questions here with the thief card someone could be stealing your time your energy they don't want the same thing as you want what else do we have for the future energy in love here someone could be cheating also with the thief card um poverty it's like yeah maybe somebody is leaving you out or you feel left out or you just don't know where this is going you could be the third wheel to a relationship also what is the future energy for Gemini in terms of career and finance? Whoa, sudden wealth, will of fortune. Yeah, we got good news about big money coming to you. Something manifesting for you. Very nice. Um, let's see what else do we have for career and finance. Yeah, concern. Um, don't ponder too long. If something comes into you, you have to make a decision about it. Make that decision. Don't fall into um, depression or, um, you know, stagnation here. Move. And if you come to a place of you don't know what to do, ask for help. Yeah, distant horizon dreams are coming true. We talked about that. It looks like dreams are coming true. You're not sure exactly how they're going to come true. You're not sure exactly if they're going to come or when they're going to come. But do know that you're also being helped. Okay. Um, yeah, fast change is coming to you, Gemini. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, go over to the website book there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. You can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, you can come learn the Tarot with me. Tarot classes are linked below. Um, book one class, book five classes all at once. Um, you can learn at your pace, all right? Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.